Let's see if we can't make this happen. 430 yards. On this day three years ago, I was sitting on the ice out on Lake Winnebago and I was sitting there for probably 15, 20 hours until all of a sudden I got the biggest sturgeon I've ever gotten in my entire life. One year after that, I was sitting in the emergency room because I was in so much pain that I couldn't hardly even walk, eat, sleep, or even work. And then one year after that, my girlfriend broke up with me. So that goes to show you how life can change in the minute. A blink of an eye, a split of a second. I went from being strong and healthy to the weakest I've ever been in my entire life. Just like that. Days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months, and every single time I went to a doctor they said absolutely nothing was wrong with me. All I wanted to do is get back to having a normal, functionable life. I would cry myself to sleep every single night because I was in so much pain. Then one morning I woke up and I thought, I'm never gonna get better. It's just never gonna happen. It's not possible. I'm just never gonna be normal again. But I didn't give up. I never gave up. No matter how much pain I was in, no matter how much I was hurt, even when I couldn't walk. When I couldn't walk, I went and I bought an exercise machine because when I walked on the blacktop, it actually hurt my leg really, really bad to the point where I just wanted to cry. So I bought an exercise machine and I fought as hard as I could and I never gave up. Then one night after a very, very long, tough day in excruciating pain, I decided to do some research on my own because if the doctors couldn't figure it out, I was going to figure it out. And eventually... I became better. And I had a normal life again. You guys always tell me why you're so grateful for me in my videos. Now you know why I'm so grateful for you. Ended up getting a right lung shot at 175 there and a 183 whitetail buck. But you guys said we should head out here and hunt for some whitetail. With a 300 magnum. And that's what we're going to do today. It's exactly what we're going to do. And there's our first whitetail down with a 300 magnum. We took him at 80 yards out and a 174 whitetail buck. Now what my plan is today, is we're gonna hunt for decent white tails with the 300 Magnum. If we see anything giant, we'll have the 6.5, don't worry. Actually, I believe you specifically said to hunt for white tail deer from super long range with the 300 Magnum. So we're talking 400 yards here, and that's gonna be the biggest buck over there. At least I think. Not very big, but uh, yeah, let's go for them. 400 yards. And there he lays. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering why we're hunting whitetail with a 300 Magnum. And is it ethical or not? Well, I'll tell you what. My first whitetail I've ever hunted in real life was a whitetail doe with my dad's Winchester 300 Magnum. So yes, it is definitely ethical. I ended up getting a 410 yard perfect double lung hard shot with a 300 magnum on that white tail buck there. A 151 white tail, but what an awesome shot with a 300 magnum. We got a decent buck out here at about 250 yards, but then we also have a really solid bull moose right over there at about 250 yards. So we're gonna try and take down the buck first and then we'll take down, actually, do we wanna take down the bull first? The bull is right there. He's it's not really a shot. So we're gonna have to take the buck first, okay. That was my kind of initial plan. We'll take down the buck first. That's him right there. He's down. And let's try and find the moose. Moose is nowhere to be seen. What the heck? Huh. Did he just like bolt or what? Well, the moose might have taken off, but the whitetail definitely didn't because we have a couple of whitetail bucks out here. A solo buck right there, another buck there, and a couple of does. I think we'll take down, well, we'll try and take down both these bucks here. About like 150 out. That was a neck shot. 
but that'll finish him off. And there he lays. There's actually one more buff there we could probably take down as well. Seeing how he doesn't seem like running anywhere. Let's get on him. And take a heart shot right there. Okay. So there's three bucks down. Zumbaya! <laughs> that didn't work very good. <laughs> After that unfortunate little fall, let's swing by here and start picking some of these bucks up here. That's a 163 left lung at 196. And we got two more bucks piled up over here. I think this is the biggest of the three. And yeah, that was kind of a borderline goal potential buck. I ended up pulling off a perfect 202 yard heart shot and a double lung shot with a 300 magnum. And then this buck here was a decent buck. That was actually the biggest of them all. I ended up getting the worst shot too, a shoulder blade shot at 217, followed by a lung shot and a 201. That would have kind of been a decent buck. And here's the other buck that we took at about 274 yard, double lung liver stomach shot with a 300 magnum. We got another pretty solid white tail here. He's about 330 yards out. It's not a perfect broadside shot, but because we have the 300 magnum, it really doesn't matter too much. And I just shot right below the thing's heart. Oh my god. Ooh. It's actually a good thing we missed, because I never would have known that other buck was in there. That was a big buck. That's going to be kind of a tough shot. 430 yards on that buck. And honestly, if we take him down, that buck might not even spook because it's so far away. Let's see if we can't make this happen. 430 yards. Uh, I never would have expected that to happen, but we just dropped both of those bucks right on the spot. Okay, good. The zone is still there from 1230 till 1530. And this is my favorite spot for Whitetail at this point. In case you want to know, it's on the very, very north end of the map by Chopeka. And this right here is an incredible spot lately for Whitetail. It really is. Just come here at about 1300 in the afternoon. And here lays our two bucks side by side. Let's take a look at both of these guys. That's going to be a 430 yard double lung shot on a 161 Whitetail. And let's grab this one. And let's grab this one. Uh oh. So if this happens, simply just put your camera on real quick, and then sometimes it can actually help uh, to pick them up. That's going to be a 431 yard perfect double lung shot as well, and a 133 whitetail buck. Well, he never actually did come back in, but that's him right there. He's 102 yards out from us here. Or is that? That's another buck. That's definitely the biggest buck right there. There he is, 100 yards out. And he just bolted when I was about to take the shot. Oh, come on, slow down, slow down. We smoked him. That's definitely gonna take him down. And we'll take that one down as well. I think we might've hit vertebrae. So this is the big buck. Yeah, that's him. Let's have a look. That's going to be probably like a 205 or 210 whitetail, something like that. Really, really solid whitetail buck, actually. And let's pick him up. That's going to be a 213 gold. We double lunged him at 85 yards out with a 6.5 bolt action rifle. And with that, that's going to pretty much wrap up this hunt. I don't think we'll get him out because he's not quite big enough. But uh, I hope you guys have a really good happy Valentine's Day. I was just getting ready to hang up the old 6.5 bolt action rifle back up on the wall. And then I got a call from my buddy Nathan, and he says he's got a really nice whitetail buck on his map out here. Because um, we don't want to go straight towards their need zone. We want to go kind of around it, up to the hill. Okay, so do you want to run, or should we walk there? <clears throat> um, I think we'll be fine if we if we run. Okay. Because um, I just, if we run around, I think they're going to be out of hearing distance. I ran. Yeah, but I don't think they're... Oh, I see them, I see them, I see them. They're just coming in right now. Oh, you do? I would say he's like a... 255 buck probably yeah yeah so if he's 255 he'd be a diamond yeah he's got that wide rack here we go it's perfect right there come on but he's gonna stop, stop behind the tree 
I got a shot. Take it. Oh, smoked him. Definitely smoked him. I think. Nice. He's down. Let's go take a look. Nice shot. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Come on, give me some light. Give me some light. It's ah, decent. Where'd the light go? Uh, that's pretty cool. I'll go with that. Let's pick him up. Okay. He's a diamond! <laughs> yes! Heck yes! 255.2. Oh, right on the head. <laughs> that was so close. Point two. He made diamond by. I had a That's feeling. Awesome. I had a feeling that he was gonna be 255. I really did because he had a really wide rack and his points are. There's quite a few points. Let's just say that they're not like super tall, but there's a lot of points. Wait, no. Eight um, eight. one, two, I three, think. four, er. five, six, seven, eight. He's an eight by eight, so he's a 16 point white tail buck. All right, well, have a good one, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, you too. Bye. All right, bye. So here's where we got that big old diamond white tail over here by Leighton Lowe's, which is just north of the Runeshi outpost here. My all-time favorite white tail spot is right here to the east side. So you can see this area here is really, really good for white tail. But he was over here drinking at about 1230 in the afternoon. But happy Valentine's Day to everybody because now I am feeling amazing. My espresso machine is working really good and my girlfriend is really happy but uh i hope you guys have a really good happy valentine's day thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time